Okay guys, what's going on Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're inside a Hogwarts Legacy. There is so much to talk about today and a piece of information which they've just announced and it's absolutely bloody bonkers. I can't believe it's going this far. We're also going to talk Vivarium and Backlore because this one's an interesting one to say the least. With that being said, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe, post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, when we hit 50,000 subscribers, which is bloody close now, I've got with me. It. Make sure that you get involved in a giveaway for an Xbox Series S plus a game of your choice. If you want to get involved with it, head down to the description and make sure you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter and make sure you're a subscriber here on the channel. Comment on this video, username and the platform you follow me on and we can get on with it. So we've got a couple of Reddit posts to go through today from you guys in the community and a very interesting article regarding, yes, a series about Hogwarts Legacy. Bloody batshees. But first of all, we're going to start off with this one right here. Somebody posted up and it got 3,000 upvotes, stating my first Vivarium done. Conjuration cap reached, now onwards to the next ones. This is mental, and they've done such an amazing job here. We just had to show you guys exactly what this is, and I'll leave the link down to their verdict post down in the description. Make sure you go and give it an upvote, give it some love. It also got some awards, so make sure that you reward it if you possibly can. But my lord, this thing looks incredible. And if you think you've completed the game, then you obviously haven't, because you can do some things like this. Well done to this user, thy iron fist because this just looks absolutely bonkers it looks like something out of the map itself and considering you guys walk into your vivariums and can see exactly what it looks like the architecture in this place is bloody top tier i ain't saying nothing but warner bros i feel like you have got somebody in your midst that, that can generate some amazing structures inside of this game i'm just saying a salary is a salary right and next up, a question that came from The Truth Hurts, and this one was actually a really interesting one, and one I never even thought of, but they stated, Who are my parents? What's my background? Why am I just now getting my letter to Hogwarts? Am I missing a backstory to who I am? Did I know about magic growing up? I want to know my history. Why have my parents not sent me one owl? There's a whole truth behind that. That's absolutely mental that we never even looked into it to, to a degree, with over 250 upvotes here on this post. People are essentially made to give up their own history. They're kind of essentially told that they need to bring up their own backstory. And we're told absolutely nothing about this character. Although they could have gone down a route of like the old Mass Effect days where you were able to pick from a specific set of history and backgrounds and the upbringing and stuff like that. And it adjusts your personality as such. You were able to pick your old background and where it is that you came from. And this game just kind of goes, here's a person. You've received a letter. Jump on it. Where were we before that point? How does the story lead up to this stage? How do they know about us and where is it all come from? It's all a massive mystery and there is a whole area of this game that they've completely, completely just abandoned on a basis of not being able to give us any sort of insight as to who we are and why we are so bloody special. Who are our parents? Were they magical witches and wizards? Were they ancient witches and wizards with just some almighty powers? Did they die? Did they survive? Are they still alive? Where are they? These questions are something I now have a lot of bloody questions to. It's actually frustrating me because now I actually want to know. And the news that you pretty much all came for. The amazing Hogwarts Legacy TV series is reportedly in the works at HBO. Now there is an article here from purexbox.com that states it's no secret that Hogwarts Legacy has been a huge sale hit so far with the game getting off to a flying start at retailers here in the UK. It's looking like that very commercial success at launch has prompted HBO to start work on a TV series based on the game, according to a new report. Outlet Giant Freak and Robot is reporting that the US-based television network is in the early phases of development on a Hogwarts Legacy TV show. What exact form it will take remains unclear, but the outlet presumes it will follow the game's time period and be set prior to the film series. This information is worth taking with a good chef's 
pinch of salt right now. The details are thin on the ground and nothing has been confirmed by HBO or Warner Bros just yet. Still, the game has clearly been a huge success so far and given that no game DLC is planned right now, the teams involved may as well be exploring other avenues for more Hogwarts Legacy content. HBO's The Last of Us has shown how popular such adaptations can be and I couldn't agree more. The Last of Us by HBO actually did a really really good job of it and especially here in the UK it was extremely popular within people not even in the gaming community so I feel like this one a Hogwarts Legacy could really start to bang if it went onto the right platform. For me this is going to be something which I'm going to be keeping my ear to the ground to and I'm extremely interested. How would you guys like to see this panned out? Would you want maybe a six piece series of just an hour long episodes or are you thinking that we're going to go down half an hour routes of just normal sized episodes and do full series sets over due courses of numerous years. It'll be really interesting considering how the films were. I don't think they're going to really label it out the same way they did the films, but it'll be really, really interesting to see how they plan this one out. Now, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for tuning in. If you haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe, post notifications turned on. Appreciate your faces. And as always, I'll see you in the clouds.